problem is, I'm like in the worst shape I've been in my entire life. Plus, I hate running. This is Casey Neistat, but you probably already knew that. Casey works harder, makes more things, and is better at telling a story than anyone else I know. But on top of his crazy schedule, he runs a lot. Casey just announced today that he's going back to uploading daily on his channel, which is awesome because I love watching his videos. Over the past few years, I've watched every single video he's put out which means I've watched him put on his shoes and go on a run hundreds of times. If it's a new day, Casey's probably going on a run. Me, on the other hand, I'm the epitome of a wannabe runner. Casey says there's two types of people, those who run and everyone else. I think you can guess which group of people I'm a part of. But for as long as I can remember, I've always wished that I could put in the work to get into running. And my pattern usually goes something like this. Hey, I should probably be a little more active. Maybe I should go running. So I buy a new pair of shoes, get a new pair of headphones, and I never start in January. Because if I started in January, I would, I would look like one of those people. I, I usually wait till about March. And after I've waited for the perfect weather, I go on a handful of runs, but I never actually stick with it. Even so though, this year, like clockwork, I got a new pair of shoes, got another new pair of headphones. I'm pretty much ready to go. But this year, after a long Canadian winter, things felt a little bit different. It became obvious to me when I was getting ready to go to the first wedding of the year, and I went to put on the pants that I wore at my wedding the pants that I wear to every wedding. <laughs> they look tight, but it's not like, for like trying to... <laughs> You're not gonna be on YouTube oh. without pants on. So, as you can see, there was a little bit of added urgency this time around when I put on my shoes to go out for that annual first run. First 15 minutes felt amazing. Oxygen coming in my lungs, the blood pumping through my veins, using my legs, and I'm like, yeah, this is great. A little further in though, and my lungs started to hurt, and my, my knees started to hurt, and suddenly everything was hurting, and I just needed to take a break. I pull up my phone and start scrolling some Twitter. And of course, Casey had just gone on a run. And I scroll through his profile and it's just picture after picture of him sharing his various runs. And that reminded me, I'm actually gonna see Casey in person for, for the first time in a couple months. I mean, he has no idea who I am. But this year, he's speaking at a conference that I'm going to. It's actually the same conference that I got invited to speak at last year. And this year, they're bringing me back to help make a video about the event. And so that means, at some point while I'm there, I'm probably gonna run into Casey. And of course, I'm excited to meet the guy. I'm a big fan. Oh, hey Casey. Uh, great to, oh yeah, <laughs> great to meet you. Uh, so, I, great videos, by the way. Uh, I, I watch all of them. Uh, you're an inspiration. Uh, I've, I've got a YouTube channel. Um, uh. <laughs> and I'm not satisfied with the way I picture this awkward handshake interaction going. You see, because Casey actually has been a huge inspiration to me. Finding his videos on YouTube was like a breath of fresh air. At a time that I was so distracted with gear and the technicalities of filmmaking and filled with excuses, I'd forgotten to pursue actually telling a story. 
His attitude and motivation helped push me to stop making excuses, to work harder, to compete against myself. When I was working endless hours on my first big film, living out of my van, Casey's videos were my accountability. Even though I make films about people who are pushing their personal limits, the only limits I've been pushing lately are how long I can sit behind my computer. Or my personal favorite, how many YouTube videos can I watch in a row? Maybe we could set a new record, like how many days I could procrastinate between runs. A year, that was, that was my last record. A year in between going on runs. How can I prove to Casey when I meet him for the first time that he actually is an inspiration to me? And how about instead of trying to tell him, I show him. How about I actually start to push my personal limits again? What if I actually put in the work to get in shape, stop being lazy, and finally become a runner? So, like any good challenge, what's actually gonna keep me motivated? What goal am I shooting for here? And it's actually pretty simple. At the conference, in a few months time, there is the slightest possible fraction of a little chance that when Casey's there, he might send me a tweet and invite me to go on a run. And I want to be in good enough shape so if that time comes, I can actually say yes. I'm gonna be ready.